Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another player review today, and today we have a review of the Inform Saldado for you guys. One of the best players on this week's team of the week, besides Inform Lukaku, who is an absolute monster in his own mind, but this player was amazing. But before we get started, just want to take some time out to thank Virtual Good Seller. All the links will be in the description, guys, if you are interested in purchasing, purchasing some FIFA Ultimate Team coins. Guys, very reliable seller and very good as well. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm sure you have, but we do have a new border on our player review videos for now or from now on if you guys do enjoy it make sure you guys leave a comment in the section below um, even if you don't enjoy it, I would love your criticism on it uh, just because I'm trying to play around with it see what you guys like see what you guys don't trying to improve my channel and my video quality for you guys since you guys have been truly amazing so as you guys can see we do have the featured player in the upper right the weak foot in the skill moves and then the price both the prices for both consoles in the bottom left so before we uh, you know get into the in-game stats as well as the goals let's go ahead and go over the uh, you know face stats for this absolute monster of a player guys so the inform Saldado 81 pace 81 dribbling 85 shot 57 defense 68 passing and 80 for heading now Saldado is much known for his heading uh, in real life as well as in the game but unfortunately I wasn't able to slot away any headers with him I usually play the ball within the middle of the field um, so I don't tend to run down the sidelines and cross it into the middle now one of the most important upgrades I do think that he got with it was his pace in his shooting he did get plus two pace and he did get plus four shooting which is phenomenal uh, his in-game stats for the finishing are incredible we will get to that in just a few minutes here guys or just a few seconds actually rather uh, coming up right here 95 finishing which is excellent and 84 dribbling now he does only have three star weak foot and three star skill modes which i definitely do think holds him back just slightly um i have some very nice finishes with his weak foot but i do not think uh, you know, it's the best weak foot out there. Most definitely, it's only three stars. But the three star skill moves are a little bit hard uh, when he does get into some sticky situations. So, what I mean by sticky situation, guys, is that I typically run parallel to the sideline or perpendicular to the end line, whatever you guys want to call it, as well as I run parallel to the end line. So, I try to do some skill moves to get into the middle of the field. And, um, you know, as you guys can see, 87 jumping, like I said before, very well known for his heading. Uh, but I try to get into the middle of the field and do. The guy with three-star skill moves is a little bit more difficult. Uh, usually with four stars, I can do some, you know, either Burba spins or I can do some Ronaldo chops and get in the middle of the field and slot goals away. 90 attack positioning. He was in the right place at the right time. So back to the skill moves, guys. That is one thing that did hold me back. Uh, but you can you can mix it up a little bit with variety, just like you guys saw right there. Did a nice little uh, move and then a nice little... Um, you know, I did a nice little roulette to get right in front of the goal, and uh, he ended up putting it away with that heading. So, I do have a few headers, actually, now that I think back to it, but none uh, from, you know, across that's from the middle. But his heading did was very predominant, but his shooting is excellent. This guy knows how to put the ball into the back of the net, and uh, if you guys are looking for someone who wants to score, definitely go ahead and pick up Inform Saldado. He did put away 12 goals in 9 games for me. Um, but I do not believe that he scored in the last game. So basically, uh, you know, he put away 12 goals in eight games, which is a very good record. Um, you know, that's that's almost one and a half. I think that's one and a half goals per game. So nonetheless, he was averaging almost two goals a game. Beautiful finishing right there. The goalie actually went down to block the shot. Soldado puts it away right over the goalkeeper as he goes down. So like I said before, guys, the pace increase was key on this man. 79 pace for a striker is a little bit slow, to be honest, especially in ultimate team. So 81 pace on this guy absolutely made him phenomenal as you guys can see um, he also has some good strength even though his card face stats and there's another example of his heading but his card face stats suggest otherwise excuse me guys um, so but he does have some great strength on the ball and uh, he's able to finish and slot it past the goalkeeper which is excellent so he does have some you know strength against the defense and he usually can stay on the ball very well he doesn't lose the ball very often and he wants it that's a good thing about this player and uh, he definitely puts away the goals for me absolutely fantastic finish you guys can just keep checking this out he knows how to put the ball in the back of the net like i mentioned before the downsides are like i said the three star skill moves which is a little bit hard um, especially if you're a skiller because it's kind of hard to get past the defense without skill moves in this game especially when people contain or if they're using the left trigger left trigger to strafe um, if you guys don't know what that is it's just a way that you do it and uh, you can kind of stay on the defense without containing so there's a beautiful example of his finishing he runs right by the defender uh, you know very strong on the ball and slots it right into the back of the net so thank you guys for watching so much if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like also go down to the comment section and leave me some feedback on my background and how you did enjoy it uh, because i'm definitely open to anything or the border i should say but thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy once again leave a like but until next time guys this has been russo and have a good one